the other side. Is that you? Okay. Uh, hello. So um, this question is for Kyle. Uh, over here. I right, see. So you said that you did work for Power Rangers. Oh, so work. Uh, how does Ultraman differ compared to to integrate a hero from the Power Rangers? How they how are they different? Stuck. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. How how are the Power Rangers different? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty loud. Well, I mean, for starters, you're talking about Power Rangers is an adaptation of material to begin with. Um, whereas Ultraman here would kind of do the first adaptation of um, In some ways, it, it's more akin to like, you know, uh, the partnership Toei had with Marvel doing Spider Man in Japan uh, many years ago. And so coming to this, and, and with Power Rangers, it was about. I, I always say that I didn't write the book, I didn't write the show as it existed, I wrote it as I remembered it making me feel. And so in that sense, it was about kind of remixing and reimagining, not only in a different medium, but with endless kind of possibilities of what it um, With Ultraman, it was quite different. Right? The Ultraman material is, um, I, I would argue, much stronger. Um, it's also material that putting through the lens of now and a Marvel kind of filter was another kind of unique approach. I would say though that the experience doing Power Rangers absolutely prepared me for doing something like Ultraman where, you know, it's about collaboration and communication between not only the creatives but editorial and then in the case of something like this, the Super I had a chat with Starlight Rock. And so, you know, it's about presenting not only 